This podcast may contain Sorry. explicit language <laughs> and maybe some other sexual things. <laughs> Your discretion is advised. Welcome to uh, uh, Gassy Radio, your home for gaming, anime, superhero news, and entertainment. Waft in and listen. Here are your hosts, Randy and Luigi. Excuse me. Welcome to the first ever Gassy Radio of the new year, 2017, recorded on January 1st, released on the Wednesday following, which would be January 4th, right? I don't fucking know the dates in the title, but this was recorded on New Year's. 2017, and I don't remember how last week's episode ended, but I'm very confused on how I'm sitting here. Um, Me really, too. I'm a little tired still. Yeah, something, I could have sworn something was major was going to happen, and a promise was made, and like something, but you know what, we've been through so much shit, I maybe we just fucking, they, they like, fucking it didn't happen. But, uh, I'm Randy. And I'm Luigi. And we are here, and we have our correspondent over here. Michael J. Fox. That's right, ringing in the new year. We also have uh, some leftover gifts to give each other here. We're going to do that real quick. If you want to, you can skip ahead, just like last week. could have sworn something happened last week, but yeah, here, go ahead. Let's see what we got over here. Work. Oh, yes. The chocolate boo Luigi got me. Thank you, sir. That's a good You're one. You're welcome. Yeah, that's a good one. That's actually really good. Now, if you smelt like chocolate, they scented it. That would be like, oh, they need a fucking, they need a raise. Whoever was like, they scented it. That's dope. Thank you, man. Why would you open it? Though? Now, uh, uh, or if you lick it and it kind of tastes like chocolate. There you are, sir. Okay. Have fun with Michael it. Michael J. Fleck got me something. There's a, it's a box. It's a bomb. What's, what's it? It's it a bomb. probably is a bomb. <laughs> Don't tell Delta Airlines. Wait, what? Um, you can't even. How open do you the think box. you got it here? Boxes, the sounds of boxes. Not some, I feel like I'm trying to remember something, Luigi, but I can't remember. Like, I heard you fall into boxes. Oh, whatever. I open this gift. Oh, shit. Oh, there's only fucking shit in here. Oh, holy fuck. Is this a binder? This is a binder. Oh, thanks, man. I got you a binder because I know that keeping your cards um, is very important to you and making sure that they're protected, so I got you a pretty badass binder here. Oh, thanks, man. That's awesome. I can put All your Pokemon cards will fit in there. Oh, also with the sleeves, so you can just stick them right in there. So. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate no it, Michael J. No uh, now, you, here, now, you, we'll take turns. Now, you open yours, yours for mine. I know Kermit the Frog with the C got you something. I was gonna say there's so, a couple of different things. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, so which ones am I opening? The bigger first? one. The, the, one the bigger one. To, 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 uh, to Michael J. Is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's the. It's a whole thing of Pokemon cards. Now I have to go through and enjoy. And don't feel cheated because you got all the ones that we. Yeah. We I, I, no, I feel cheated ones. already. <laughs> And I still haven't gotten through all the doubles. But yeah, we're still we're giving oh, each other man. gifts live on Gassy still. It's after the New Year's. Uh, a lot of fucked up shit happened, like, the day in between recording our last week's episode. And when it came out, Pikachu. Carrie Fisher actually did pass away. We're going to talk about all that crazy shit. But, uh, see, now I'm try remembering even more. You fall into boxes last year. Last, it was last year, technically, last week. Was Before last you open that. I just want you to know that the reason for this gift is in honor of. We're one drinking. Of, you'll something? see. You'll see. You'll see. I think you'll enjoy it. Holy shit, dude! Turn it over, and there you go. Thanks, man. I don't have the only signature I have from the, like a trading card from Star Wars is fucking wedge. Thanks, man. I have a yep. Kenny Baker. And he just passed too. In 2016, exactly. last year. Kenny so. Baker signed R2 card. Thanks, man. No That's going to be put up on the friggin' wall. For sure. And then, uh, finally, again, you can skip until the gaming section. Clearly. It's just a minor gift that you can uh, do with uh, Maddie, too. So. I remember I remember oh, my so phone cool. going off. Yes. Oh, awesome, dude. A puzzle. Thank you. Exactly. She likes the Star Wars puzzles, too. Exactly. So Thank just you. something Appreciate small it, that she'd enjoy. So. Now open your gifts from Kermit. Oh, boy. But that's one of the last things I remember is my phone going off. Your phone went off. We opened our gifts, and we told people the same thing. The opening wasn't any big. Just skip to the gaming section. 
They can right. skip around until they find it. Ooh. I think that said from to bay from Kermit. That did say to bay. I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it just because of it now. I think Kermit got you guys the same gift. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, you did. He likes Sorry. me better. Did you get a the fact that you're gloating about that proves <laughs> that you are Kermit's Bay. I don't okay. even know where the fucking Kermit puppet is right now, honestly. Oh I man. And the Tommy puppet. So I can Tommy. get this open. When was the last time we've seen Tommy? When was the last time we've seen Tommy the puppet? Ooh. Did he get us? I could have sworn he got us something. I don't know, it's been a week. I'm not, I don't remember much. I had a new kid. I'm not, uh. You sound so enthused about having a new kid, too. No, it's great. I'm just fucking, for some reason, dead tired. So let's move on <laughs> to the... I wonder why you have a kid. Oh, Kermit got you some fucking keychains. He did. I was, I was expecting something different, but that's okay. I yeah. really like them. They're actually really cool. We were going to give you a jar of pickled eggs, but we <laughs> I just didn't have time to buy the pickled eggs. That'd be funny, though. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> Go to the gaming section, man. When you're feeling low and you want to shoot someone in the face, it's the gaming section. Because you can't do it in real life or you go to jail. And welcome to the gaming section. But before we get too far into the gaming section, yes, I had my second child. Yes, that is why I sound tired, but at the same time, I'm also very excited. But anyway, Ariana Grande is to be a playable character in Final Fantasy Brave Exodius. No. I'm dead fucking serious. That's hilarious. There's pictures of her getting her, like, recognition pictures and everything. She's meeting with them. Oh, yeah, Disney owns Square Enix, and Disney owns Ariana Grande. And it's Ariana like, Grande, oh. <laughs> yes, By they own her. They own her as a person and a human being. They own her. Um, but... No, she's, like, legitimately, and there's comments of people like, oh, can she really, I can't wait to fucking tackle some dungeons with her or some bullshit, and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? So Ariana Grande is a playable character in uh, Final Fantasy it's Brave Exodius. Um, What's Brave Exodius, though? Like, no idea. We, we, talk, we talked about it a couple times, but you, you didn't even, like, you're like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, that sounds weird to me. Yeah, so it's... But it's coming. And it's I just got world of Final Fantasy. That's, just, that's pretty weird. It's just coming all over your face, neck, and chest. But anyway, um... It's, uh... Alright then. Hey, at least we got Michael J. Beck. He did not have penis cancer. He just had, uh... The scuttle eggs, which is a form of genital warts that... The puppet gave him, he doesn't want to talk about it. No, no, he's I clear. don't. He's clear. It's, it's literally you take a drop of penicillin and they fall off. So, he is a eunuch now, but he's okay. Good. <laughs> 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 we all tried not nah. to laugh at that. And Double Dragon smooth. 4 gets an early release date, guys, for the PS4. And guess what? Yeah. The 29th of January instead of the 30th. Woo! <laughs> So, yay, thanks, guys. What does that change it to? Like a Thursday instead of a Friday? Or yeah, they like, fucking... They, what is that Power Ranger game coming out? I don't know, but it's I can't... It's going to get an early release date. <laughs> One day before whatever you think. Anyway, um, I haven't opened it yet, but the NES class, I guess I was supposed to, in between having a kid and recording, which I got a little naive, apparently. But the NES Classic, it... Pros so far? I haven't opened it yet, but I know... It comes with an HDMI cable, so I know that's okay. a pro. I know people are saying the buttons are on point, but the con is the controller short. And okay. the, the Sega Genesis Pro, it comes with two controllers. They're wireless. Pro, those are pros. Um, con, you have to like point, make sure the controller is pointed at the system for it to work. Hmm. Which um, because I know like the PS4, you can like be fucking, you can bring it to the bathroom and still hit X or whatever. But like. With this one, it has to be at least facing the system. I don't know if it's like actually you have to physically point it at the system. That might be a little annoying. Yeah. But I prefer a short cord over non-working wireless any day. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But, uh, I mean, the three original Mortal Kombat's with blood intact. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, yeah, Sonic 3D these? Blast. I, I opened the Sega, I didn't open the NES though. Uh, the, the fucking uh, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic and Knuckles. Three Mortal Kombat's, Vector Man 1 and 2, a bunch of other great games. On um, the Sega, 
the NES Classic definitely has more great games. I mean, just like the Mortal Kombat 1 through 3, they have fucking Super Mario 1 through 3. I heard they're going to come out with cartridges with uh, extra uh, games and stuff on them. Well, that um, would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense, but they're all they're doing the Super Nintendo Classic next, so that is confirmed to be in the works, but hey, whatever. You can play when you have Mario and Sonic again, like, first thing. Like, now it's not just, okay, i got to play the PS4 with all these... With all these next gen shooters and I'm gonna let Resident you get Evil. them and then I'll come over and play them with you because if I get them, yeah. I'm not gonna stop collecting them. As long as Ariana Grande is a playable character, I don't care. Yeah, because we haven't even played Battlefield One in like the longest time. It's either we play Titanfall Two or I play Doom. And I play Final Fantasy Fifteen. Right, so it's like I'm either playing Doom Oh, I beat it. I beat the game. I gotta. I'll do a little review about that in a few minutes. But go on with what you're saying. If I'm, <coughs> oh, bless you. If I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not playing uh, Titanfall 2 with Luigi Online, I'm either playing uh, Pokemon Sun on my 2DS or I'm playing Doom and uh, the Rogue One DLC for Battlefront. And that hasn't even been a much, much of that. Even though like the new kid sleeps just fine, so I have time to play it. I'm just fucking tired. Like, the sleep schedule is landing, my body needs to adjust. But anyway, and I need, so it's like, I have these new systems, like new, the newest handheld for Nintendo, the newest PlayStation, I have a Wii, I have a PS3, all of this shit. I actually have a real Sega, but it's just so much easier getting the fucking thing with oh, all the yeah. games on it already. My games are, I know where my games are at, my Sega's on the shed somewhere, some bullshit, but anyway, I have not played the NES Classic yet, so like, and that was an expensive Christmas present because they sold out quick and everything. But I just can't wait to to actually be able to sit down and play the old school Legend of Zelda for the first time. Like, legitimately do it. Never played the old Legend of Zelda. I played Le I played Zelda 2. The uh, whatever, Adventures of Link or whatever. But I have not played Zelda. The or the original Legend of Zelda. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna try to find a way to stream that. Uh, my wife and I and Luigi, Luigi, whoever's over, I'm going to finish beating Resident Evil 1 HD. Yes. Because Resident Evil 2 HD comes out soon. And, of course, Resident Evil 7 comes out soon. So, and that is legitimately going to be a gassy streaming thing. Like, an, at least an hour at a time, we're going to go full fucking playthrough and just stream for you guys for that. And then, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, we're taking quite a break from the... Yeah. From the live streaming, I think we got to make that a regular thing again. Right, yeah, I get it's fun with giveaways, too. Um, and the final thing I have before uh, Luigi gives us his Final Fantasy, yay or nay, if you should buy it in his review and whatnot. Um, we have, uh... Um... Gets your radio. The fuck was that? That was um, him saying Wiz Khalifa. Wiz yeah, Khalifa. Like Wiz Khalifa. Uh, there's some people going around uh, trying to figure out what regional Pokemon will be for Generation 2. And um, the best list gives us uh, Mill Tank for the United States, because we do have the biggest military in the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why we get the fat for, cow. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Smirgle for Europe, for its uh, artistic history. Jura Gargaraf for Africa, for giraffes. Giraffe rig? <laughs> Giraffe rig, right. Heracross for Asia or South America, and perhaps even the puffin, like Delibird for Antarctica. Yeah, because they're going to fucking give a regional Pokemon to Antarctica. They didn't do it, and they didn't do it for South America for the first generation, so they're going to fucking give it to Ar Antarctica. That was stupid, whoever the fuck wrote that. But anyway, other than that, I think those are some solid choices. Or, you know, yeah. you can still give us our fucking Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, Mew, and Mewtwo. Right. You know, like your teaser trailer fucking showed several showed thousand Mew times. Two at the fucking New Year's Eve. Guess what? Your New Year's didn't happen, motherfuckers. I'm missing. I'm only missing two of the second gen that are out yet. I've caught so many. Char I am so close to my Charizard and my Venusaur because of this New Year's thing going on till the eighth. I can taste it. I have four ten-kilometer eggs about to hatch. Well, a couple of them about to hatch. So I, I hope to God I get to smooch them. And I just need to get some ten-kilometer eggs and get that Pichu, and I'll have a lot of Pokemon. But still, where the fuck are you and you two? How the fuck are we recording? I remember being tied up, dude. Something's off. I don't remember ever. Because Kermit's not here, not in this room. Tommy's not in this room. 
Michael J is here, and we know he was out last week getting his dick checked. So this is, I feel fun. I'm feeling like, like super thirsty. I remember drinking something. Right. I can't quench my thirst. What the fuck? You did see Tommy got us a present. Right? Well, anyway. Um, uh, something happened. Yeah, so Final Fantasy review. Final Fantasy review. Um, yes, definitely buy it. This is going to be a spoiler review for all of you guys. So. Oh my right. god, it's everywhere. <laughs> um, so, it's a good game. What the hell was that? I, I heard I it heard too. A laugh. I heard laughing. For realsies. Okay, anyway, continue. Um, it's a fun game. Um, the... Storyline actually starts before Final Fantasy. They made an anime about it, then they made a movie, and then the game corresponds with like the first chapter of the movie, the game. So Final Fantasy Fifteen is actually like Final Fantasy Zero. Is it a prequel? No. You just said it takes yeah. place before. No, no, no. Like, like this, this little story arc that they've made for Final Fantasy Fifteen takes place before the game. <laughs> okay, what he's trying to say is that there is a movie out that is the prequel to the, to game, the game. And then and there's an anime that's a prequel to the movie. Right, but you're talking about the game. Right. I'm just saying that the story arc takes place before... The, there's there's more to okay, it. Okay, so the game takes place before the anime, but after the movie. No. This is so The cool. anime, the movie, then the game. Okay, continue. Your okay. review of the game. Yes. Gaming section. So... I'm so confused. <laughs> this starts off when uh, Noctis is like 20 years old. He goes out on an adventure with his friends. Um, and then they find out that their home got destroyed by the Empire. And now they have to go find... <laughs> um, then they have to go find the sacred swords of his... I just picture like forefathers. Us getting you like cartoonized and like animated, like again, like you. Whenever you tell a video game review, you just have stupid shit happening in the background. Yes. When you're like, um, cartoon. Ah uh, shit. Uh, when they were thinking, just like, it's just like compared to like shit his pants or something. Like, <laughs> rolling. Continue. <laughs> That's it. We have to do that now. We have to find know, somebody to do just, that. Uh, just a forewarning. I don't have. Too much time, so right. So I'll give I'll, it a nice hard anal fucking review. Okay. So anyway, so he, yeah, he it quick. comes out. He's on the what? Make it quick. Oh, like poop. So he has to go after the empire. He has to find these sacred swords, and then at the end of the game, tell us about his, the ramen. That that one we can wait for that the ramen mission. Well, the cup of noodles. Yeah, I'll explain that in detail another time. Um, I'll find it and I'll, I'll explain it in detail. But, uh, oh, he, it's like one your wife ones, yeah. winds up dying in front of your eyes oh, that's in this game. Horrifying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your wife winds up dying. Actually, your fiancé, because everything stops you from getting married in this game. Um, you get mad? Nope, the dragon's destroying the city. When I get mad? Nope, you have AIDS. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> when I get mad? Nope, the tomatoes have stopped throwing. We need to find water. So she gets stabbed in the chest. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. And then he winds up getting trapped in a giant orb for ten years. Because the so then it suck. jumps ten years at chapter like eleven, and then you can't do anything but the story mission at that point. Oh Jesus! Yeah. So that's why you haven't got the cup of yet. Right. I've been trying to do like everything, and then I went through the story mission a little bit, and then I went fuck because now I can't do anything but the story missions. But anyway, that's that's okay because they came out with New Game Plus. But anyway, the uh, the ending is ten years after when you started. Wait, what's New Game Plus? New Game Plus, you literally just play the game again? right right over again with all of your stuff. Oh, okay. It's kind of like what Batman Arkham does. Yeah. Right, but Batman Arkham makes the bad guys stronger. It makes the game more difficult for you. This doesn't do that. Oh, you're just like fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's completely. Yeah, overpowered. you're just chopping shit up like nothing. Okay, so the end of the game takes place ten years after the wife died. Uh yes, uh so after the wife dies, it takes Where's place. Where's Cloud? There's no Cloud. His name's Prompto, and he shoots a gun. So what happened to Cloud? Is that not in the same universe? No, it's not in the same universe. Every Final Fantasy game takes place in a different universe. Unless it's remade. Oh, unless it's remade or it's like thirteen two, then it's a sequel to thirteen one. 
You guys are few Asians are confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's numbers. it's fucked up, man. Um, anyway, uh, so then you have to go fight the guy that killed your wife. Wait. Who you find out is a demon. Wait. Okay, so she's not dead then. No, I said you have to go fight the guy that killed your wife. Oh, and he's the demon. And he's a demon. Fucking Asians, man. <laughs> I'm telling wow. you. So then you go kill him, and then the ending sequence is he's got this ring, tells all of his forefathers, um, I know what I'm doing, like... I must save Middle Earth. I have to save the, the planet. Then they all start ramming into them with, with into him with his swords. So he, like, gets stabbed, like, 13 times. And then his... He should have stabbed him 15 times, because it's Final Fantasy 15. Right? It was, uh, he just can't kill him. No, there's 14. There's 14 people. Um, he stabbed But then he gets the sword of his father, and he tells his dad right at the end, he's like, Father, trust me. And then his dad turns into a spirit and kills him, because his dad died when the... Uh, in Chapter 1, when the... Uh, when his hometown got attacked by the Empire, his father died. So This is a very bleak fucking game. Oh yeah, it's bleak, but it's amazing. And there's cars in it. Yes, you can drive a car. And, and you can you can customize it and everything. I gotta show you my badass wheels. But anyway, um, there's also Chocobo. I'll do some more Chocobo stuff later. You um, can Chocobo what? Chocobos. They're uh, giant flightless birds, and you ride them around like horses. But you have cars in this one. <laughs> yeah, and you also have chocobo. Think of an so. ostrich, basically. Chocobo, gotta catch him on. Alright, let me, let me just finish this up, because we're wrapping it up pretty quickly here. Um, so, they all stab you, then it opens up a, a portal vortex, you warp into the portal vortex, it's really fucking weird. Right. <laughs> then you see the guy that you just fucking killed. You put your hand up, a flash of light comes out. And your arm starts burning up. You start screaming. All the swords from your forefathers shoot out your back. They all their spirit forms grab their weapons and then rent, like smash into your enemy, obliterate him from existence. Jesus. And then you, you're like, you put your arm down because, like, your job's done. And then you fall back and you disintegrate into nothing. And the ring that your father gave you to let all this happen disintegrates and then you see him and his wife like up in like heaven or whatever you want to call it hell <clears throat> I mean, whatever he's sitting at his throne and his wife's sitting over on the edge and then look at each other they give each other a kiss and then they're just leaning there sleeping like at peace and then the game ends you like hear some more like sad shit like um, like your friend, no, like, cancer. there's a part where, right in the beginning, you're pushing your car, and they go through this little, like, monologue that's kind of funny and everything, you hear that from right in the beginning, all over again, and some dark shit happens, like, uh, one of your friends, Ignis, he goes blind, he gets attacked, and he just winds up going blind, and he still winds up fighting with you anyway, um, Pronto gets kidnapped and tortured, um, Good bastards. Gladius just leaves, so I heard that they're making a DLC to show you from Gladio's perspective what he had to go do when he like left you in that section of the game. Jesus. So it's probably that's probably gonna be bleak and like terrible. People die like people were killed because of things that we were, were doing. It's terrible, dude. Alright. But it's well. also it's also really fun and enjoyable and it's got a great storyline. So I would yeah, definitely end up note. That sad, bleak, dark, horrible note. Happy 2017. Let's go to the anime section. <laughs> anime. Animated. Assholes? Possibly. Oh, I think it's everything like that. No, rolled up into one fat fucking blunt. Lots of crabs everywhere. Marlon Brando's ghost resurrected in CGI in Crabs the Movie. And I don't mean crabs. I mean literal fucking pubic crabs. You come to me on a day and my daughter has to be married to a crab. And that's the whole fucking movie. <laughs> Copyright us, Ro Red Films. Look for that after the Jewish is. Masturbation Fest. <laughs> Jewish, <laughs> Jewish Masturbation <laughs> Fest. Uh, <coughs> I'm actually smoking some meats on my new electric smoker and uh, having a Seth Rogen movie marathon this uh, coming weekend. It's going to be fun. Cool. 
Anyway, this is the anime section. Um, my brain is still a little confused because I could have sworn I was already here. But now, the notes I have, these I did not type these notes. The notes I have are after New Year's. It's after New Year's now. I have some horrible stuff to report. Um, and I just feel like my clothes have been changed. Uh, I know I had a new baby because I've... I was a, I saw my wife and my second child, but like yeah, I was I was I, feel, I was there. I feel something something's weird here. Anyway, um, let's get into the anime for real. Adventure Time producer is making a Castlevania animated series. Okay. And it will play on Cartoon Network, but it will be in the adult timeline, like the adult time. Hmm. But it won't be Toonami. Um, who's so it? it's not real. It's because it's not really adult. It's made for teens more. Or whatever. Um, I just heard a ghost. I hear stuff in the background. It's alright though, don't worry. Um, let's see here. I have uh, fucking shit. This coming Saturday, Dragon Ball Super is uh, premiering on Toonami Saturday night. Fuck yes. Along with Gundam Unicorn, which I've already been watching in Japanese thanks to Crunchyroll or whatever the fuck, Tuna Roll, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> It's Crunchyroll. Crunchy right roll. the first okay. time, but free trial. Two in a row. We're not fucking. We're also hungry while we're at it. I'm not fucking. We're not sponsored by them, so I'm not fucking. Eat some shit. Shout out to our sponsor, 2017, Formula 330 Collectibles. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got for anime. I, my head, I don't feel like we should be here right now. Something's up, Luigi. I don't, I don't know, man. Did anybody hear that, uh,. I'm the hearing weird bangings and shit. Attack on Titan's gonna have season two come out soon? Yeah, we talked about that last week. We also talked about how Hit fucking kills Goku last week as well. Yes. I was dedicated to it. Last week's oh, episode I... was like New Year, New Dragon Ball. Because it's like Christmas oh. is over, it's almost New Year. Well, this is New Year, and we felt we recorded this and we're recording on New Year. I Gohan punch Hit so hard in the face that he just explodes. Fuck yeah. Um... How did he kill Do you a guys god? not remember? What the hell was... What? Did I hear that out loud or was just that Just end the animated section because you don't have anything else to add. Just fucking finish your cast, you idiots. Okay, I heard Kermit, but he's not in the room. But he's not dead. He's not a ghost. Did I hear that in my head or did I hear that out loud? What are you guys talking I'm about? My, you in my head? Or is this real right now? Can we end the gaming section, please? I don't the, know. What this the, is the anime section, bro. Oh, God. We need to end the anime section. I don't know what they're talking about. They're kind of scaring me. Mike, end this, please. Hi. I'm Robocop Batman. And you're listening to the superhero section. Who has a feather in my ass to stop that? And welcome to the superhero section. Um... Doctor Strange is confirmed to be appearing in Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. I can't even fucking... Ragnarok. Ragnarok. No, it's Ragnarok. It's Oregano. 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 Thor Oregano. Thor 3. Doctor Strange is in it, just like Hulk's in it. Okay. Kind of expected, just based on the uh, end credit scene from Doctor Strange. A lot of speculation that uh, it was announced that Ryan Reynolds filmed a cameo as Deadpool in Logan, the third and final solo Wolverine film. Hugh Jackman's last Wolverine movie. And then, like, the day later, I don't know, something happened, but they're like, they're saying now, demon, ghost, monster thing just flew by my window. They're saying now that, uh, no, we didn't film it, so I think maybe someone leaked something they weren't supposed to and they shut it down. Because Ryan Reynolds was even like in on it, but now it's they're like saying no. Unfortunately, I'm not in it, so I don't know if they were like ye <coughs> yelled at by the demons or something. Demons. Demons. We don't know. Ex more than likely, Deadpool will make a cameo post credits or something. They'll just well, do a we'll passing by, or we'll announce something right. just because you know break that fourth wall. Right. Right. Now, uh, Ben Affleck is saying, if the Batman doesn't get made. It doesn't get made. He he will only star in it if the script is right. Yet it's in his contract to do four movies, and he's done. I mean, he's only done three. Hmm. He's done Batman vs Superman. He's done Justice League Part One. He's done Suicide Squad. And you're kind of locked in for Justice League Part Two. So therefore, he doesn't have any set commitments to a solo Batman movie. He could literally just be DC's movie universe, like Justice League mm -hmm. type movie Batman, which is what I don't get. Like, why not continue other Batman? Like, have multi universes just like the comics do. 
I would be I would be awesome to have a trilogy ender for Amazing Spider-Man from Sony. Okay. And then even if they and then that's not gonna happen now, but even if they did Spider-Man Four with Sam Raimi, mm-hmm. it'd be cool because then you could have like this fucking like just like the games, you could have like multiple Spider-Mans in like this one movie. Like just different universes, like Earth Two, Peter Parker is Tobey Maguire. Mm-hmm. Earth Three is fucking Andrew Garfield. They all kind of look similar. They're both all a bunch of ass hats, so it's gonna work. So kind of like how they do in the Flash, where they have just the multiple different people. I mean, same actors, but you know, you could just change it to I be someone else. I want to see Flashpoint in a movie. That's what I want to see. Because they kind of did it a little bit in the in like the series. Yeah. But you know, Flashpoint in, in a non animated movie. Because the animated movie's dope as fuck. It yeah. is. But yeah, no, that would be fucking cool. Um, let's see here. And finally, I feel. I feel a little cup funny. has just appeared in front of me here. I'm gonna drink out of it. There's a name scratched out. It's uh, too gassy radio from t- Taboo. I'm drinking water. They're gonna go to. That's right. Drink it all. Uh, what? what? Guess what? Okay. Um, we're moving on to the. To entertainment section. Um, yeah. Oh, super, super heroic. Got some music playing in the background now, too. Okay. Ah, yes. Welcome to the entertainment section. Mm, they brought me to the final section in there. Great. Fuck you guys. Enjoy the entertainment, assholes. Welcome to the entertainment, entertainment section. section. Uh, right before the new year, um, apparently, fo- I saw the videos for this. Fox Valley Mall was shut down after hundreds and hundreds of teens got into one giant fight. And this happened in multiple malls all over the place. Yeah. Hmm. That's some fucking crazy shit. And it happened last year too. Yeah, like they all coordinated it. Right. They coordinated like a giant it was, like it wasn't even it wasn't even like a mosh pit thing. It was like just beat the fuck out of each other. Yeah. A lot of people were hurt. No, I don't think I, I don't know if anyone died, but a no. lot of people were hurt. Didn't somebody shoot up one of the malls? Yeah. Like there's always one final fucking stupid thing in two thousand sixteen. Uh and then, Speaking of, um, unfortunately, we have some sad news. Fucking horribly sad news. Um, our episode last week, which I'm fuzzy recording on, and yeah. why we're here, but that's besides the point. You know, we recorded on a Monday. The episode came out on Wednesday. You know, wishing Carrie Fisher the best of luck. Unfortunately, ah, uh, we were too late on that one. Um, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, author, legendary actress daughter of Debbie Reynolds, or, yeah, we'll get to that, too, uh, Carrie Fisher has passed away at age 60, Princess Leia is no longer with us, uh, it's been confirmed she finished filming everything for episode 8, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that was horrible news, that sucks, uh, Ricky Harris from Everybody Hates Chris has died, heart attack, George S. Irving, voice of the Heatmeister, and this is all before 2017, because like I said, today... So far, no deaths have been reported to me. Like, I haven't seen any. It's because we're recording this on the 1st of January. It comes out mm-hmm. on the 4th of January. These are all the last second deaths. 2016 had to get in there. Uh, George S. Irving, voice of the Heatmeister from the fucking Rudolph, yep. like, play animations. Yep. He passed away, age 94. This that is all over a week. Yep. Uh, and then the day after Carrie Fisher passed away, uh, Deering, when she was sitting with her son... Her last words, Debbie Reynolds passed away at age 84. Her last words were, um, I want to be with Carrie. Carrie Fisher, Prince I miss my daughter. Away. I, I, I miss my daughter. I want to be with Carrie. Mm-hmm. Fifteen minutes later, she had a stroke, came to the hospital, and she died. Died the day after her mother died. Broken heart, guys. You mean the day after her daughter died? Whatever. It's sad. Yeah. And then one final death was, uh, rest in peace, uh, William Christopher from M.A.S.H. He's actually from Evanston. Wow. Oh, wow. He played the priest or whatever on MASH. Whatever. But, yeah, it's a sad day. Especially... Especially for the Star Wars fan, man. Yeah. Fuck that, I don't even care. Especially for me. I'm fine. I fucking cried like eight different times. Yeah, that's... That's a long, And then they have, like, the dad. Like, the dad. Fuck. This drink's delicious. I'm gonna have some more of it. This fizzy lifting drink, because he fucking really Wonka died too last year. Okay. Anywho, uh, yeah, so. And we're done with the sad news, uh. 
The next Nicolas Cage film is to be a Ronald Reagan bio. What the fuck? Sure. Nicolas Cage is playing Ronald Reagan. Anna Kendrick and Steve Carell to host the Golden Globes. Dope. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Donnie Yen to return. Fuck me in the mouth. Return in the young Han Solo film. Bu -bu 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 -bu. <laughs> okay. So it takes place before Rogue One. Well, yeah. Clearly. Clearly. I was going to say, wait. Spoilers. He Everyone dies. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Which also makes that fucking... See, I swear to God, I'm sitting there with my wife the first time I saw Rogue One, and I'm like... Ah, C.G. Leon. This is before Carrie Fisher passed away. This is before I even heard of the news of her having the heart attack before she was dead. I'm like, that's weird having that C.G. young Leia. That's like an omen and stuff. Like, Paul Walker had it. Yep. I don't know. It's fr freaking me out a little bit. Then the next fucking day, she, she fucking the airplane thing, and then the next day she died. I don't know. Ugh, but anyway. Getting off the sad shit. Get off the sad shit. Get off the sad shit. Why isn't I in a sad mood? I feel like I'm in pain still. Like, yeah. Like... Something happened last week. My hands week. hurt. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Girl Meets World's uh, possible series finale is coming this January. Okay. It'll be, I think it was, what did they say? It was going to be two or three episode arc. Three or four episode arc, I'm sorry, and it's ending, but it's not been confirmed yet from Disney if they're picking it up for a fourth season or just letting it like, die uh, at three seasons. Um... Really good news, though, because I've been waiting for the Super Mario Brothers is getting a limited Blu-ray release. The movie they made. Really? Oh, that's cool. Wow. Okay. But yeah, it sucks, but it's also, like, part of our childhood, so I would like to own that on Blu-ray, because it's not that yeah. bad of a movie. I mean, it's... It's just, it didn't do good with the source material. Yeah. <laughs> what am I hearing? What is that? I don't know. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, anyway, um... Will and Grace is also the newest show to be returning after a long time away off television. What the fuck? No word if it's going to Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything yet, but like Fuller House and all these other shows, Gilmore Girls, all this other shit, they're coming back. Okay. Which is cool. Um, speaking of which, Fuller House Season 2 was really good. Oh, did you finish watching it? Right. Yep. Yes. Um, I finished it a while ago, I just didn't really bring it up. I might have brought it up, but the best part with me, the mm -hmm. whole season, they were at Thanksgiving... And fucking DJ's like, you know, uh, I wish I'm glad everyone's here. Uh, it sucks Michelle couldn't make it. I hope maybe she can come next year. And a complete fourth wall break. John Stamos like the camera cuts and he like sits back in his chair and he's like, you should come out. It's fun. <laughs> and he like goes back and then, like, he goes he goes back into character, like a direct like not not just a fuck you to the Olsen twins. Oh yeah. But like a <laughs> it was literally like and. Wherever fucking uh, the, the same thing they Mary always do, Mary Kay and Ashley, Ashley Olsen. Wherever yeah, wherever you are, if you're not too busy, D yeah. So essentially, DJ's like, and it sucks that. What, the, what is the youngest sister's name? I can't even remember. I just said it. Mary Kay and Ashley. No, the the, 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 the actual actresses. the actual name of her. Stephanie her. Tanner. No, Stephanie's in the show. Oh, Michelle. 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 Yeah, she's literally like, oh, you know. It's, Sucks Michelle couldn't be here. We wish her well. Maybe she can come next year. And then, <laughs> like, like, like butter, like a slice of cake. He just, like, it, the camera cuts so smoothly, and he just sits back, and he's like, you should come out. It's, it's really fun. And he, like, sits back in, and I fucking start dying. <laughs> Me too, dude. That, that was, was a good that part. That was one of the best parts. That was the... And then, but of I course, heard that Stephanie's stuff. doing the how rude shit. Yeah. So they're keeping the tradition there yeah. that she's there, but also it's like... We had all these holiday themed episodes in this season. It's just like your sister should fucking be there. Honestly, at this point, by season, like, just get someone to replace her. They they can't though because the fans will backlash. Exactly. Well, the one still <clears> acts. <throat> she should Ashley Olsen still acts. So. Well, she said that she uh, that she would be okay with it. She just had to wrap some stuff up with her sister in the uh, business. She said she would be interested in making the return, and we talked about this a while ago before mm -hmm, season two yeah. even came out. Because we, this podcast has been going on for so long that we fucking talked about Fuller House before it came on, yep. when it came on, and we've gotten a full season two already. We're almost coming up on our gas anniversary. Yeah, March? Our gas anniversary. Gas anniversary. Gas I'm going to smack you. Gas <laughs> Um, And then my final thing for entertainment for the fucking first of the year. Which was actually something good out of the badness. Someone fucking changed the Hollywood sign to say Hollyweed. 
<laughs> they moved around that's some of the dope. paneling to say Hollywood instead of Hollywood. I shared it on the Gassy Radio page. That's, that's awesome. fucking Everyone's hilarious. Everyone's sharing it. So like, it quite literally says Hollywood. So if you're flying into the airport, you're reading Hollywood. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Do you think that threw some people <laughs> off? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's legal there, and I know um, there was a couple. There's a show that Kevin Smith was doing that's a pilot for. If he didn't take advantage of that and fucking somehow film part of that sign to add to his shows, like pilot oh, yeah. during this thing, if it was him, I mean, he's lost a lot. Of weight. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't. I know it's probably not, but I'm just saying, like, people conspiracy. better have taken advantage of that. It's all a conspiracy. That's why I took my first thing. I was like, they probably did it themselves. Mm-hmm. First of the year, they want to make an impression and get up the fucking sad news out of them. Luigi, you were knocked out by Tommy the Pup. We were drinking yeah, Tommy the Puppet's drink last out. week. You passed out. I'm... Dude. I'm actually not Randy at all. I'm Tommy the Puppet. Oh, fuck you. Luigi, you're the first one to wake up. Because you were the first one to fall. Fuck Michael J. You. Fox isn't even here. Guess what happened to you, Luigi? We got kidnapped by puppets again, didn't we? Yep. And guess what? You've been neglecting me? I'm sleeping a long fucking time. And... What is the fuck is going on? We're in the basement again. Old studio. Randy? Hey. Hey, buddies. I think it's time to let Darren take over because, oh, next week... I shall get my revenge. You asshole. We got kidnapped by puppets. Again. Darren. Darren, it's a nightmare. What, what, did I miss anything important? Is Terry Fisher alive? You've been listening to uh, uh, Gassy Radio.